Y'all put this all on y'all Instagrams. <laughs> I think these kids, you know, just want to hear from someone else. I can relate to them because I was one and I played for both programs and went to the school and know what they are going through. Full circle. For some professional athletes, it might mean winning a championship, but for the Lakers' Anthony Davis, it means giving back to the community that helped him start a career in professional basketball. Y'all doing good? Yeah. Now in his eighth season in the NBA, the number one overall draft pick in the 2012 draft and six-time All-Star took time to visit kids from teams he played for growing up on Chicago's South Side. Anytime I get to come back home, you know, it's always great. And I'm able to do events like this and talk in front of kids who I, who I can aspire in. You know, I went down that same path that these guys are going through now, so get them so much of the knowledge that I've gained from my experience in the NBA and in, in this life. If you miss, you know, classes or you know, don't go to school, whatever, it's really hard to get into college. Boost your way into the NBA or the WNBA or whatever, so. He could be doing many other things with his time, but to just come back and show love to these kids, I mean, it just shows what type of person and what type of character he has. My pops told me, you know, no matter where you are, they'll find you. It's not gonna happen overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day. The motivation to give back dates back to his own high school days when the 2016-17 league MVP was inspired by another former Southside MVP. D. Rose, he, he was the one. Um, you know, he gave me hope. Watching him with the Bulls and what he was able to accomplish when MVP, uh, go to the playoffs and all this stuff, it was just so much that we thought wasn't going to happen for us, you know, growing up in the neighborhood we grew up in, being in a situation we grew up in, you know, he kind of gave everyone hope. Just to be able to relay my story to these guys and know that I didn't, I went to the same high school you guys went to, you know, not a very big high school. I had a graduate class of 54 kids, you know, um, and I was able to achieve my goals. So, you know, you guys can do the same. While all in good fun, Davis hopes that his message of hard work and perseverance will resonate with the student athletes. It's going to take a lot of work, a lot of effort, um, a lot of sacrifice, dedication. Um, but the most important thing that you know, no one's really ever told me was to have fun. And once you have fun, you know, your hard work and dedication and you know, and that stuff is going to come naturally. It's not going to just come overnight. You got to put the hard work in if you want to achieve some type of dream. You can't just sit back and just think that's gonna come. You always gotta put the hard work in every day. To just be here and in front of them, you know, someone that they look up to, you know, it all comes full circle. Easy money. <laughs>